Brawlhalla Spear Weapon Review. Anyway, the spear in Brawlhalla is a pretty cool weapon. I'd say it's one of the few weapons that I really know how to use. And this, how in the gameplay back here, however, is old footage, so you might see me do some pretty uh, not so great moves. But I do pull off a few combos that I'm going to mention to you now if you're brand new to spear. Anyway. Right now I'm using Grin, which is a Spear Axe hero, so you might see me switch to Axe just to mix things up right now. But anyhow, Spear is a pretty weapon because it's kind of in the mid-range. It's not close up like, let's say, Guitars or uh, Gauntlets, but it's, it has a decent amount of range, kind of like uh, the bow or the... But it does have some close quarters potential. So it's kind of a place. You kind of need to uh, find out, well, exactly when are you going to attack. I'd say with guns and bows, either wait till they're either locked into an attack, like let's say like with a dash attack like the bow uses when they shoot either up or down diagonally, or get in close to the guns because the guns can't really shoot in front of them for some reason. It's kind of weird. It's just how Brawlhalla works, I guess. If they change it, guns are going to be very powerful. But right now, they hadn't done a thing. So the guns basically are just a just a disjointed hitbox. Where the hitbox appears like 10 feet in front of them, but don't appear like right in front of the gun. So it's kind of weird. So you can get in close quarters with them and be fine. The only, I'd say, difference when it comes to the spear versus the other ranged weapons is Queen Nai. Because she, for one, has Katars as her backup weapon that she can uh, whip out at any time and absolutely destroy in close quarters, but also has a lot of signatures that actually go into very long range, which can be used either as a mix up or to snipe people off the map. But anyway, on to actual moves that the good old spear has. Downlight, uh, honestly, is kind of your last combo thing. Like the few strings that I'll mention now is side light into neutral light. I've seen a lot of people do that. It's a true combo, but with very low follow-up potential. Then what I use almost all the time, which is side light to down light. It's a true-ish combo. They can dodge out of it, but it does have a lot of follow-up potential. So basically, you can go side light to down light into gravity, can gravity cancel the signature move, which is very good for damage. Or it can go into side light down light into a side air attack in order to either spike somebody off the map or just mix it up a little instead of just using the regular signature all over again. So depending if they dodge or whatnot, and if you do end up. Um, not getting the exact side light that you want, you can just use the neutral light, which is kind of a all-encompassing, basically an attack that goes all around your character in terms of the hitbox, so it will most likely hit, only that it has a little lack in the range department. But other than that, that combo is more for the low damage side. In the critical area, you're going to have to snipe them with either a side light, a side air, I mean, or you're going to need to take them out with a recovery, a down, a compound, or, well, with your other weapon or a signature. Other than that, I'd say the throwing capability on this weapon is just like any other, although I think for some reason it just feels a little bit better. And, well, other than that, I'd say Spear is a pretty decent weapon, and if you get to know it, you can pull off some pretty crazy stuff. Like, I've seen people do a trip, like a double gravity cancel with this thing. I don't really know how to do 